welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're, uh, we're building something for the EV, but it's got nothing to do with the electric propulsion of the car. I've always had a TACO in the car, came with the MX-5, but it's never worked because of course the TACO sent us, uh, sat in the engine compartment. But it actually hasn't worked since the original petrol motor came out. Uh, we're going to build a TACO sender today for the MX-5. trace back the uh, TACO sender circuit and I'll show you where that is but we need to build a sender to be able to send a signal to that uh, to that receiver to the tachometer itself. Uh, to do that we're going to put two magnets at the front of the motor uh, and then use a Hall effect transistor to read when the motor goes past it and then send a signal to the uh, tachometer itself. Um, the hardest thing I found in doing this was actually how to mount the, uh, the Hall Effect uh, reader. Uh, so I'm fidgeting it about with my trusty uh, vice here. Uh, it actually needs to go here. Can, can you come this way, darling? And darling's like Jack today. Uh, Jack's not here with me, but I'm being ably assisted by my lovely wife. So the ma magnets are going to go essentially on the front of the motor there, and one on the opposite side. Two pulses per, per revolution. And I figured I would install the reader here. Now I fidgeted around with a whole bunch of different configurations and I kind of came to the uh, solution that uh, the best way to do it is to actually hang the reader on the bottom side of it so it gets a, a nice good signal coming out. And after much fidgeting, We came up with something that I prepared earlier, which is this. It's got a whole bunch of different angles cut into it. And the idea is that it fits in perfectly there. So nice and flat, and the magnet passes right in front of it. So I've tracked the uh, TACO cable uh, back to this plug here. This is the original receiver unit, so, it'll, so it should drive the, uh, the MX-5 uh, take out pretty easily. I need to get cable from here up around here and into this plug. I'll probably cut it here to be honest. Um, the way that the taco works is that there's a counter within the taco, so I need to be able to get pulses to it each time there's a uh, each time the motor turns. Now I've got a bit of a problem. I need to do a whole bunch of testing with this, but of course I can't test until the car runs. Uh, and when the car's running, this is all going to be covered up. So, and of course I won't be able to get to where the tachometer is. So what I've done is I've built a little test rig over here, so we'll be able to run the cables, run them across here and actually put the pull-up resistors in and any, uh, any smoothing out capacitors in here. Um, so in theory, all we really need is a 4K7 resistor just to pull up the signal and, and away we should go. So I was going to use my little Hall Effect sensor, uh, I've got a whole heap of these uh, and then drive them out to a pull-up resistor, but you know what, uh, having a look on eBay, you can buy a, uh, the exact same thing packaged up in a waterproof unit for about 4 bucks from China. I got this from Australia for about 10 bucks, uh, and it just came nice and quick for me. Um, uh, that was really good. Uh, so what I decided to do was actually... Drill a hole in my little sender, or little bracket, in which case we're going to mount this in there. And the reason for setting this up now before the car turns is of course the motors have a north and south polarity. And I'm not 100% sure as to whether the, the magnet should point north to the sender or uh, south. So we'll test that right now. So that'll sit in there. And as you can see, it's a very tight squeeze. And in fact, I might pull it back a little bit.
that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got the unit installed um, uh, and I've connected it up to positive and to negative with a 4K7 resistor between the signal and the positive. Now, for people that are, that are a little bit observant, they'll probably notice that this means that the signal will always be high and then pulse down whenever we get a magnet thing. That's the opposite of what I was expecting to do. But since the tachometer just simply counts pulses, that should work just as well. In fact, it may even give a more stable needle movement. We'll check it out, we'll find out. Now, all I'm gonna do at the moment is use my trusty multimeter. Just make sure I've got positive here. Yep, the battery's a bit down because I haven't run this car for a little bit. And if we have a look at the signal, the signal is currently sitting on positive. And I'm just going to hand crank the magnet across there and that should pull down. And as we can see, it actually didn't pull down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the magnet around. So just the, pol the different polarity is in place. Now I'll just hand crank it again. Can you see that? And it actually drags it down. And that's the effect that we're after. So high, and as the magnet goes past, it goes down. Okay, so that proves the theory. I'm going to bolt all this into place now, and that'll allow me to actually drive the car and test it uh, in real world scenario. So I may need to add some capacitors between the negative and the, and the signal, just to make sure that that signal hangs down low enough to register on the tachometer. Uh, but I won't know that until I get the, the car moving up to a certain amount of revs. People have asked uh, how I'm gonna secure the magnets in place. Uh, according to theory, they should just uh, be magnetized in there. I'm gonna put a dob of super glue in there. And this unit here, I was wondering how to secure it into place. I was going to put, put some little elbow brackets in here and then screw in that way, but that's obviously not all that possible to come in there. So I've decided to just uh, screw that into place there and then bolt it straight down into there with some little screws. All right, let's get it all in place. Car running, see if the 12 volts actually does work. Um, some people say that you actually need a much higher voltage. We're going to find out. See you soon.